Hey, what's up everybody? It's Zero back again. Today I got a little bit of gameplay with the Gleal. It's not a gun that I've typically ever used, and I just saw that I had uh, easy challenges for it to pick up, and I was trying to get just the last few points to my prestige in this game, so I thought I'd use it and see if I could pick up the rest of the challenges. And Surprisingly, it ended up being a decent gun. For some reason, I never used it all that much. I just don't think the first few times that I used it, I had much luck with it compared to some of the other ones, so I just kind of left it there and never did anything with it. And eventually, once I got to playing with it, I really enjoyed it. It seems to be about on par with the Commando and the AK-47. Maybe a little bit less recoil than the AK-47, so it seems to me. Anyway, we got this game of domination here, and I don't know what's going on with my team. I think for quite a while we're down one person, or maybe two people. We got three guys that all they want to do is just sit back and camp and kill whore, and one person that just wants to rush the spawn, and it ends up being not all that great of a game at the first part, but things kind of get going. It ends up being a lot closer game than it needs to be. We could have just blown him away, but it you know, takes the whole entire team, not just a few people. Now, I know I said there was a few people on the team that just wanted to sit back and kill Whore, and that's kind of what I'm doing right now, but what I really want to do is get B captured, but if you look at the mini-map, there's no cover for me. If I was to go and try to capture B myself, I'd just get shot because none of my teammates are anywhere near there. There's two up there by C, somebody hanging back by A, guy just got killed and respawned right behind me. Can't do much. Now I'm just trying to pick up a gun. Which, it happens to me twice this game, I kill someone and they don't drop a gun. Ends up just screwing me over right there. And now we're being dominated, because I don't know what's going on. So, I have to get a little bit more aggressive than I typically like to play and kick things up a notch. Try to go out and make some things happen. I've been trying to get my playstyle a little bit more aggressive here lately and do a little more rushing and things like that. I'm just kind of getting bored setting back and playing defensively all the time. I've had a few successful games. I had one today that ended up being really good. I had a really good kill streak in it, but ended up my capture card wasn't running during the game, and there was a host migration during the game, so it screwed everything up, and now I don't have the game anymore. And the migration was right in the middle of my best streak. Wouldn't you know it. I guess that's the way things go. That'll teach me to make sure my card's working before I play. But I think that was the first game I ever used the, uh, what's it called, ballistic knife in. That's something I just never used in gameplay. And I ended up getting quite a few kills with that, not even shooting it, just stabbing people. It's kind of like the commando in Modern Warfare 2. You can just teleport knife people with it all day. But, anyway, I'd like to apologize to everybody out there. I didn't get as many videos made this weekend as I wanted to, and don't think I got as many as I typically put out on the weekends, but ended up being a little bit more busy than usual. And I actually went to play paintball and had a lot of fun doing that. One of these days I'll take my camera with me and get that recorded, because usually that's a lot of fun. Ended up having a lot of fun yesterday, just playing with my pump. I'd never played pump paintball the entire day, and that was a whole change of pace. There was only a couple times I really felt outgunned, but... It got me in some unique situations and changed my whole playstyle up quite a bit. I really had to sit back and choose my battles carefully. I didn't have the firepower to back up just running up to the front line and firing away. It kind of made me play a little bit more like I play Call of Duty, where I had to be defensive and wait for people to come to me. Whereas typically when I play, I like to rush up to the front and try to flank around and almost be a rusher, I would say, playing that. It's kind of amazing how much different I play that than how I play Call of Duty. Even though a lot of strategies are the same. It kind of made me appreciate playing tournament style ball a lot more too. With that, yet everyone has the same type of gun, pretty much. And everyone has the same rate of fire limit and all that. Whereas yesterday I was running with a pump and there were people shooting probably 20 balls a second at me at some times. Which wasn't too fun because... You don't always know where the nearest cover is when you're running around out in the woods, and all I had was just some small trees around me. Whereas, when you're playing tournament, you always know where the nearest cover is. 
everyone's guns are pretty much on an equal footing, and really all you're left with is just the skill that sets you apart from the rest of the players. You can't really have any distinct advantages that way. But I did miss running around in the woods when I was playing like that, because... A lot of times, you don't get the big games, well, you can't get the big games on the airball fields, whereas you can get huge games out in the woods with 20 people on each team, whereas you're limited to usually 5-man or 7-man on the fields. That can be a lot of fun, but it just doesn't have the same style, I guess you would say, to it. In the woods, a lot of times, you'll be playing for an objective, too. And in tournaments, there is an objective, but... That really gets overshadowed by eliminating the other team and then hanging the flag. Whereas in the woods, a lot of times people just grab the flag and run and before anybody even shoots. So you get a whole lot of different styles that way. And that makes it to where there's just a lot of upsides to paintball, period, whether you're playing airball or playing woodsball or scenario or whatever style. No matter what, you're outside, you're running around, you're getting exercise, you're having fun, and it's just like a first-person shooter, only you're there. <laughs> you don't have to deal with controls and lag and all that other stuff. About the two worst things that can happen out there is your mask fogs up and you can't see to shoot the people in front of you, or you have really crappy paint that won't shoot straight and you can't hit the people in front of you. But still, you can make yourself useful to your team, even if that's happening, just by simply putting a presence there. Whereas if you're lagging out on Call of Duty, you're pretty much just worthless to everything going on. You're just going to be feeding the enemy team kill streaks and not getting a whole lot accomplished. I'd much rather play paintball any day than play Call of Duty, just simply because of those facts. But I'm really hoping Modern Warfare 3 takes care of this lag issue because I've just about had it with this piece of crap Black Ops. I don't know how many games I'll just sit back and watch. I have a whole bunch of videos posted of the hit detection too, where I just empty a whole bunch of rounds into somebody and none of them count. And then sometimes I'll shoot and I'll put it in slow motion and it's nowhere near them and it's counting, so who knows what's going on with this game. Every time I turn my PlayStation on, I just tell myself, okay, all I'm going to do is run around and have fun and not worry about anything. Usually within the first 30 seconds, I stop having fun and get pissed off because of crappy hit detection or lagging connection or something like that. Even, I don't think I've had a four bar game for days now, except when I've been host. So I think overall, being out in the outdoors and running around was a lot of good for me because it got me away from my stupid PlayStation for a few days. And even though I didn't get to make any videos, which I really enjoy doing, I got to do something constructive. And it ended up being pretty cheap, too. I was surprised at how little paint I went through playing pump as compared to what I normally go through. I mean, usually on a typical day I'll go through more than a case of paint, which is 2,000 paint balls, and that runs probably about $50. That's one of the reasons I've been kind of avoiding paintball for the last year or so, just because I didn't have the disposable cash for it. But playing pump yesterday, I spent the whole day having fun and ended up going through less than a bag of paint, which is less than a quarter of a case. So it ended up being cheap. I think if I added it all up, including the gas and everything, it probably cost me less than $20 to play. But you have to take into account I do own my own equipment, so that cut down on the cost a lot. And I think even if somebody wanted to go out and rent equipment, you could have a real fun day out for probably less than 50 bucks for a person, which I know that's quite a bit of money for a lot of people, but if you do it only on special occasions or you're looking for something like a bachelor party or things like that, it's a great idea to keep in mind. I think a lot of people that are into first-person shooters would love paintball and just probably haven't got a chance to try it. Or maybe they have tried it and just ended up being really expensive and decided not to do it again, but if you find a place that would rent out pumps and play pumps... That would cut out a lot of the cost, because paint is by far the most expensive part of playing paintball. I think the economic downturn is actually maybe going to help paintball in the long run, because one of the biggest complaints that was keeping people from getting into the sport and keeping new people from playing was 
the fact that all these kids were running around out there with thousand dollar guns going through paint 20, 30, or 20 rounds a second things like that just completely blasting all the new people off the field whereas these days people are saving their money a little bit and a lot more people are playing pump people are keeping their rate of fire under control and that's just making everything better all over the field but anyway that's the game 31 and 10 five defends only one capture but I think defends are just as important as capturing flags myself if you like what you see and you want to see more go ahead and subscribe give a thumbs up and comment thanks for watching